Cat Massad to me is uh, the place where I was first most included um, as a kid. You know, I, I uh, where inclusion, the acts of trying to get someone included, uh, took took effect. So I was uh, I was seven years old when I started going to camp, and all the other kids were nine years old in my cabin. And the camp made like a genuine effort. Uh, to get me involved, to get me to feel comfortable with all the different kids, to get me feel comfortable in the programs and with the staff, um, that I didn't feel like I was two years younger than everybody else. It helped me plan for the future uh, in a way that made sure that when other people came to the camp, no matter what, uh, the reason was behind them uh, coming to camp, wh whether they were trying to meet new friends or whether they didn't have any friends at all, um, or whether they were trying to learn new things, that they could come to camp, um, whether they were disabled or whether they were uh, didn't speak the language of the camp, you know, that it was inclusive and that it invited everybody, right? So uh, inclusivity was always my biggest thing. My staff, I love them. They're like me, <laughs> right? So I look back at them, and I, I'm sort of living vicariously through them. It keeps me young. The staff at Camp Massad is homegrown, uh, which means uh, most of the staff, like me, uh, started coming to camp when they were seven or eight years old, and uh, concluded their counselor and training uh, work when they were 16 years old. And by the time they were 17, they were counselors. Uh, so lots of them have 10 years, 12 years of experience working at my camp before they ever become. Uh, staff or administrative staff, so they have uh, the potential to uh, to uh, come to camp and experience uh, being part of a group and then eventually being a leader of the group. Some of my leaders are, are in their early 20s and they have 50 people in their staff and it gives them an opportunity that they may not ever have again, uh, but because they've had that opportunity, the chances are higher that they will. Uh, so I have kids who are running youth organizations, kids who are running other camps, other than my own camp, you know, kids that are working in my own camp, and then people like me, I went to my camp, I was a staff at my camp, an administrative member at my camp, and then eventually the director.